Welcome home, glorious Bitcoin truth seekers. It is Friday, February 5th, 3.28 p.m. here in the Arizona desert. And check out BitcoinDailyView.com where we got some cool stuff for you like sleep is for stop loss. Bitcoin Daily View t-shirt. As we all know, sleep is for the weak. Sleep is for stop loss. BitcoinDailyView.com. Also, check out over there link to an incredible Ross Stevens and Michael Saylor interview. It's more of a chat than an interview between these two great minds. It's not the normal Michael Saylor kind of a chat about Bitcoin. They go deep. They also touch on Bitcoin being the peaceful revolution, an aspect of it. I really, really dig it. Uh, Ross Stevens actually even says that Bitcoin is a peaceful weapon of choice, and I think that's absolutely true. Bitcoin truth seekers, I am glad you're here for the peaceful revolution. Let's get on with this. Also, check out Femex.com, uh, affiliate link over in the uh, over at BitcoinDailyView.com. I'm digging this. It is a. I'm just checking it out today, but I put my affiliate link up there because why not? I'm digging this. A lot of the features that Bybit has, and U.S. citizens can just log in and use it. Don't need a VPN. It's a big deal. The cool kids are heading over there. I've always been a Binance maximalist, but I've started to really find enlightenment and inner bliss and existential peace with Bybit, and now Femex is a new meditation tool for me. All right, not financial advice. Obviously, I'm a crazy person, nor am I a life coach, but check it out. I'm a cool dude in the garage, and you know what? Soon I'll have one of these t-shirts. I'll be doing it in a sleep is for stop loss um, t-shirt. So hurry up. Get over to BitcoinDailyView.com. Get one of these. They're so darn badass. You know you want it. All right. <laughs> Against USD or USDT, the market is glorious today. ADA, Cardano, of course, Link are showing up big time today along with some others. We'll check them out. I love seeing this. And what I'm noticing right now, and this is an important thing, I think that we do take a moment to note, look at ADA, look at Link. Um, see them over here, that, that's against uh, USD or USDT. ADA and Link are very, very green and powerful against uh, Bitcoin. Uh, when I see assets or coins, I guess you would call them, moving strongly against USDT and uh, Bitcoin. That's something I want to get in on. So Bitcoin trading volume, uh, 4.7 billion last 24 hours. That's wonderful, 2.6 billion of that on Binance where all that beautiful glorious volume is right now. No one else showed up for a billion dollars. I guess they just didn't have their Wheaties this morning. So 60% longs, 40% shorts on Binance. The sentiment is definitely, 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 definitely long for Bitcoin right now. And it's interesting that we have a long sentiment because look at this uh, Bitcoin dominance. It has been dumping the last couple days, if not weeks, and today a mega dump. We're coming in at 61% this very moment. We have been as low as 60.5%. So boom, Bitcoin dominance plummeting and continues to plumb hardcore today. And why I mentioned the, uh, the, the, the Bitcoin dominance plummeting so hardcore like this is this is just something I know, Beam, a coin that I like, a project that I like. Something we've been seeing the last couple you know, weeks, really, is you see these, these beautiful uptrends against USDT, all right? But then, of course, against BTC, because it has the dominance and it's been on the rise, you know, coins struggle. Like, here's the, here's the BTC pair down here, Beam BTC. It struggles. It's just kind of riding the 200 moving average. So in general, if something's doing good against USDT, that's nice, but you might find it struggling to stay positive against Bitcoin. Um, but check this out. As the Bitcoin dominance plummets, and as Bitcoin has kind of sideways out a bit recently, um, check this out. This new channel we see here for uh, Beam versus USDT, and look at this channel, Beam versus BTC. I think we're going to see perfect concurrent trends against BTC and USDT, especially as Bitcoin dominance low uh really just straight up dumps moving into 2021 i think this is a bit of an indicator that all season could be here but beware because uh i'll get there i'll, I'll get to the why the because um bitcoin versus well, basically how many gold coins buy bitcoin today 20.9 right now dollar strength index um the bottom here is a red candle today overall it's been Go moving up last couple days, but today definitely a strong red candle to the downside for DXY. In the middle here, moving up, Russell 2000 index, green candle looking good. SP 500, green candle, not too stout, kind of short, 
but a little, you know, happy little guy there, a little pancake green candle. All right, gold and silver, gold up top, silver on the bottom, both have a green candle today, recovering from their recent dumps. Now, why I say could um, Bitcoin be 95,000 uh, by April 25th? Uh, here's my thought process, okay? This is the three day candle. Uh, and if we look, the MACD is a big deal. So you can see we had this positive MACD cross on the three day candle for Bitcoin back here, and then a beautiful uptrend, then it dumped and it had a negative cross, and now it is about to have a positive cross. It's heading towards a positive cross. I definitely have a trading view indicator set for when this happens, and it simply is going to send me uh, 3D Lambo, three day Lambo. That's what it's gonna to say to me when it, when, it, when it sends that. We're moving towards a positive cross here on the three day. Why I mention this, why I had this idea for entertainment purposes only that we could be at 95k and in the end of April is this the last time we had a powerful three uh, a powerful MACD positive cross on the three day chart was back here um, that would have been about like uh, October middle of October and then boom what happened just a straight up rocket ship I mean look at these uh, look how that was running Beautiful three-day candles closing. A little bit of sideways action here, but boom, 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 boom. Wonderful. And then, then when the MACD started to trend towards the negative, we got kind of sideways. We had a, a negative cross, definite dump. You can see it right there. But now we're trending towards the positive side. Histogram is closing, and when you cross positive above the mid-range here on the on Bitcoin, see we 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 crossed right about the the mid-range back here. We're going to cross positive above the mid-range, usually a bit more spiffy of a price action when, when that happens towards the upside. So, last powerful MACD cross, we went up 250% and then it began to turn around. All right, so this MACD cross, I think, is even more mighty because it's above the mid-range there. And if we were to, in the same amount of days, 81 days, move 250% again, totally doable, that would be... 94,709 on April 25th. So that's my crazy ass prediction. Why not? Here's my old face. But everybody makes, <laughs> you know, in the finger, you know. Um, there you go. Okay. And I think we wants to screenshot that so you can make fun of me later. But that's it. I think we're heading there. If we look at the uh, one day candle, um, positive MACD, we're looking good. Um, here on the uh, three-day candle, uh, we're above the 21 EMA, or above the 10 moving average. We've got a powerful MACD cross coming to the, towards the positive side. I think this is doable. Crap, I mean, I'll, I'll just take 200%. That's good enough. So, let's see what happens. People make wild-ass predictions all the time, and that's mine. But I think it is based on as much reality, and as much conjecture, as much hope, as, as much clickbait O-face as anybody else. All right. But right now, on the four-hour chart for Bitcoin, as you can see, we're, we've been ranging sideways for a while. Um, we had a slight uptrend earlier today, um, and it's and yesterday. It's beautiful, beginning to level off, level off a little bit. The uh, squeeze indicator here can, shows that. We had a beautiful squeeze. Um, I I changed this uh, my settings here so that uh, when we're in the squeeze, you get white uh, circles. So. We got our squeeze going, it was positive, it's been an uptrend, it's nice to see, but of course it has leveled off, and as you can see the squeeze indicator is showing that. So I think we're gonna just we're just gonna continue sideways for a moment. So we have this beautiful, powerful price action on the three-day, um, you know, reflected here um, with the MACD, and we and we have a uh, also a green we, we have three three-day uh, green candles. So uh, it kind of, it's kind of hidden there, but one, two, three. We're closing the, a three a three-day candle today. So that will be three positive three-day candles in a row. To me, that usually means a bullish or a bearish flip. So if you get three three-day candles in a row, be they red or be they green, it's usually going to tell you which way that you're you're going to be headed. That's a flip of a bull or bearish momentum for me on Bitcoin. So I think this is glorious. Check it out. I dig it. That's my crazy-ass prediction. Bitcoin. Before Bitcoin is uh, Bitcoin. Before Ethereum, Bitcoin. 
like I said, on this four-hour chart, right now we're sideways with definitely an upwards trending uh, to new moving average. These purple uh, or pink squares, being, these are upwards breaks of the 200 moving average. So in general, our, our, our Madrid ribbons are all green right here. I mean, we're pulling away from the 200, 200 moving average in a very positive way. 200 is above the 314, that's bullish also. So the directional index is green. ADX is not quite where I like to see it. It's around 21 right now. When it gets to like 23, 25, watch for more uptrend. See if the squeeze indicator turns around. We very well could get an action like we saw back here. We have one beautiful squeeze breakout, followed by another, followed by another. So we'll see what happens. Um, KRI is in a good spot. Stochastic RSI is right there in a good buy zone. We shall see what happens. We're sideways with, this is what I call like a positive sideways. Definitely sideways, but positive indicators moving into this weekend. Ethereum doing the same thing Bitcoin is doing. USDT up top, BTC on the bottom, same thing Bitcoin is doing. Um, it's been performing well. But here's the thing about Ethereum I want to mention. I think this is a big deal. Uh, Ethereum gets, uh, as this, as this uh, headline here says, Ethereum shot past 1600 to secure a new all-time high ahead of next week's CMA futures launch. I believe that is on the 8th. Here's my question for people. When backed happened and people were like, yeah, futures, it dumped so damn hard. It was a legendary dump for Bitcoin. So when these Ethereum futures come out, is Ethereum going to continue going sideways? Is it going to pump? Is it going to dump? I mean, if, if what happened to Bitcoin happens to Ethereum, it's going to dump, right? But we don't know. Um, here's something I definitely did note right here is where it says, uh, interestingly, the ETH price rally comes just as Grayscale Ethereum Trust buys 25,000 Ethereum coins worth a massive 37.6 million uh, soon after resuming fresh investments. Um, so I do believe the uh, um, uh, ETHE is open again for accredited investors on uh, Grayscale. So as per the data on Bybit.com, the latest purchase comes in just the last 12 hours with the ETHE total holdings surging to 2.96 million ETH coins worth over, it just says dollar sign billion because it's just a lot of billion. We <laughs> put it that way. So, and this article came out on, it doesn't say when, but I believe, I don't see it here in the article when it was, but I believe this was February 2nd, this article came out. So, with that said, it is recent. Um, what do you think is going to happen? Ethereum, when CMEs, you know, happen for, um, for uh, when futures happen, uh, what's going to happen? You know what I mean? Uh, let's just see. We'll find out. Is it going to be pump, dump, sideways? I don't know. But I can say that Grayscale and their credit and, and credit, accredited investors definitely don't think it's going to dump. At least it doesn't look like it. I mean, they're, they're buying. Grayscale doesn't buy unless accredited, accredited investors, big money, want to buy. You know, it's because they're providing for uh, their, their buyers. You know, there's a the big ass exchange. So we'll see what happens. Um, interesting, interesting times. Uh, it has me just curious you know what what is going to happen there's some great little tweets here this tweet is from february 2nd also ethereum has made a new all-time high of 1540 today and is 15 percent and is up 15 percent the last 24 hours to support this our platform indicates uh that new eth addresses are continuing to emerge at higher rates over time generally a very bullish signal for crypto assets anyway um lots of i'll, I'll link to this article in the show notes um, and over there at Bitcoin Daily View. I mean, this is beautiful stuff. I just, I don't know, you know, uh, futures for Ethereum. Are they going to pump it? Are they going to dump it? What's going to happen? I don't know. Seems a lot of positive momentum in the market for Ethereum. Let's hope that the futures don't dump it. All right, Doge. Doge versus USDT sideways. Um, we're getting a positive, uh, some positive motion here. I mean, KRI is looking good. Stochastic RSI is in a good spot. The I is uh, green, but ADX is very, very low. The squeeze indicator shows we're starting to get some positive momentum. Um, but we're and this is actually a Bollinger Band cave, basically. Um, it, 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 it's a great indicator if you do a search for it over there on a trading view. I'll have to add this to the um, indicators I have over there at BitcoinDailyView.com, but it's just called FIB. F I B B, and it's very nice because you can put what fibs what fibs you want to base your Bollinger Bands on, 
and uh, I find it to be very, very good. Uh, it's kind of like RSI Cave, but, well, of course, different. But I find it to, to really, you really will find that within these uh, FIB regions, these FIB zones, <clears throat> within the Bollinger Bands, uh, stuff sticks to it. It's a very, very effective uh, uh, charting tool, so check that out. I'll put it over at BitcoinDailyV.com. If not today, I'll do it tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, but there we go. I mean, Doge, you're sideways, 45-minute chart. You're sideways. You're positive. You're above the moving average, but you are sideways. You're not really making any movement whatsoever, but your indicators in general are a positive sideways. So just there ain't no magic going on for Doge right now, but that's good. Uh, maybe we're seeing some massive over-the-counter buying that's uh, being uh, implemented to not pump the price. Could very, very, well, very, very, very well be. So Bitcoin, I'm sorry, so Doge. <laughs> Maybe Doge be the no Bitcoin. Bitcoin's gonna be the store of value, and Doge is gonna be the coin that people buy, you know, frozen pizzas with. Uh, you never know. So, Doge against USDT sideways with a hint of positivity for sure. Uh, Doge against BTC, the exact same thing. A slight, a slight uptrend um, here against uh, Bitcoin. So really, uh, Doge against USDT, sideways. Doge against BTC, sideways. Slight upwards momentum there. So, um, it is the quiet before the storm. It, to me, this looks like some uh, 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 building some, this looks kind of like a volcano. It's, it, it's building some momentum, we shall see. Uh, I don't see any indicators showing this is going to dump uh, or pump, but like I say, we are seeing a, some positive action here in the squeeze indicator, but we haven't really gotten to the point of momentum yet. RSI, stochastic RSI is good, KRI is good, directional index is good, ADX is too low to really make a move. Watch for the ADX when it comes to uh, uh, Doge versus USDT, Doge versus uh, BTC. Watch for the ADX to start getting up around, right now it's like, what, 5? Wait till it starts hitting like 10, 15, 20. When you start getting near 20, I think, and if, if we are trending up, uh, I'll report on it daily, especially if we start getting a positive squeeze. Um, which would mean like back here where you got uh, positive upwards momentum, then you begin to see the squeeze, because the squeeze ends, you're getting enough variance in candles uh, and momentum to say that you ha you've had a squeeze breakout. We're not even really, you know, we're kind of nowhere right now. So anyway, sorry to belabor all this. Doge is just sideways, but it's a positive sideways. It's a gradual uptrend sideways. I see the indicators in general pointing towards the uptrend for Doge in this weekend as we roll into it sideways. All right, link, everyone loves it, I love it. USDT on the top, BTC on the bottom. Link, really choppy recently, and you can see that at least it has made some sense kind of against, uh, did you kind of do a channel? Oh, crud, sorry about that. You can kind of do a channel here, I think. Oh, you almost can. Right, everything go. You can kind of see it, maybe an upwards channel. It's been rocking against USDT. Um, it's had a hard time doing that against uh, BTC down here on the bottom. But what I want to note though is if you kind of go back to uh, um, Beam, you know, with Bit Bitcoin dominance dropping and Bitcoin being sideways, uh, you can see that we're starting to see a, a, a similar upwards trend against USDT and BTC on some, you know, for some assets, for some coins. So with Link, look at that. I uh, had an uptrend against BTC. I am sorry, against USDT, but not really BTC, not quite as uh, sturdy, but it has broken above the uh, tenant moving average here, the white moving average is broken above that. It's above the 314 right here. It's looking good. Um, might we see a, uh, with that Bitcoin dominance dropping, also look at this. Let's screw the indicators up big time. Look at this mass. This is off of Binance. Look at this massive red wick. Something, I mean, some something happened there. An exchange error or maybe, God knows what, a mega whale. Totally jacked the indicators up. So it needs to kind of recover before they mean anything. But really, we have green uh, Madrid ribbons. Uh, it's green EMAs there. That's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> directional index and stuff is all jacked because this this wick here. But in general, we're moving. Um, I'm just gonna do this, you know, could we see, and we'll see if this happens, kind of like Bean did over here, uh, you know, could we see kind of a matching, 
upwards channel you know begin to form uh, could be anyway everyone loves link it's performing well good against uh, USDT and uh, as it recovers from this wick as the indicators start to make sense in general maybe we're gonna see this to be the bottom of the channel I'm gonna watch for a bounce right here against BTC I think that very well could happen right around 69,000 sats XRP um, it's about the moving average against USDT it's below the 200 moving average against BTC. Um, it's sideways. It's sideways going into the weekend, uh, strong against the dollar, uh, but weak against BTC. Um, how the indicators look? I would say it is, I would say uh, XRP is slowing down as we enter the weekend. Dot, uh, pump recently, leveling off. Let's look at the indicators here. Going into the weekend, kind of sideways. Yeah, dot. Beautiful gradual uptrend. Um, isn't that beautiful? You compare these two. Um, sorry about that. Yeah, uh, dot. Beautiful uptrend. Both the moving average, looking wonderful. Uh, indicators are positive, but just kind of sideways. Dot has had a beautiful upwards momentum, uh, upwards channel recently, but now dot. Um, uh, against USDT up here in the bottom, against uh, BTC on the bottom, USDT on the top, BTC on the bottom, they're both leveled off to go inside. They look exactly the same. I find also like this, like dot, when the uh, USDT chart on the top and the BTC chart on the bottom look about exactly the same. Indicators also, you definitely have a strongly performing alt. So uh, dot is sideways right now, but definitely a good performer. I would watch this sucker for uh, a break to the upside. ADA, ADA, Cardano, beautiful pump recently, beginning to level out. Uh, indicators are super bullish right now. ADA is a rocket ship to Pluto. We're seeing like 54, 57 cents, 50, 50, 54 to 57 cents right now. Um, honestly, looking at Cardano, um, you know, it would not surprise me if we see a dollar going into next week. Oh, oops. Oh, sorry about that. Everything went wrong. There we go. Get back there. Right there. Anyway, uh, Algorand, uh, beautiful upwards momentum recently, kind of cooling off. I think Algorand's going to go into the weekend uh, on a downtrend. All right, so so that all took so long. Um, BitcoinDailyView.com. Check it out. We got good stuff for you there. Like I say, this interview between uh, Michael Saylor and uh, Ross Stevens was amazing. Get your badass T-shirt there. Watch this glorious, glorious Bitcoin dominance continue to dump. And when it does, watch for alts that start performing like beam. Um, I think we got some serious action rolling into next week. Um, this weekend, it's weekend. Who knows what's going to happen? I uh, will talk to you guys later. Try to keep you up on what's going on. Any requests, just put them in the comments. Take care.